Hey, Alex. Want you to do a ring around for me? Farmers Council business. Meeting's not till tomorrow, Harry. Yeah, bloody Phil Brand is trying to overturn my irrigation policy. He's got some of the young Turks on his side. Just need you to twist a few arms. Yeah, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I'm flat out all day, though. We'll make time. Delegate. Yeah, I would. But I've got to get this mob ready for the truck, and there's also that radio interview. Nah, forget it. Thought you said it was important. Good chance to get the Kalani brand name out there. I mean, I can't do everything, Harry. Hey, Rob. Ever done a radio interview? No. We'll start practicing. Alex will give you the details. Oh, I'm sorry, Harry. I don't really think it's... I do. Looks like God has spoken. Of course I'll try to get out of it. Well, can't you pull some strings at the radio station for me? Roger, it's not a local puff piece. It gets a run across the country, and they got their own website. Yeah, and they want a photo. Look, I know it can't happen, all right? Yeah, I'll figure something out. So you think it's ketosis? Yeah, it certainly is. Now, uh, we've got a couple of different treatment options we can consider. Ah, uh, looks like you've already made up your mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I was saying, a, a couple of options, but uh, only one worth pursuing. Stevie, this is Katrina. Hi. Hello. The IV dextrose will correct the energy deficiency and reduce the production of ketones. Right, boss? Couldn't have put it better myself. Well, fair enough. You're the experts. Here. You better watch out. You keep me around and by the end of the week, you might be redundant. I up to my ears in a lawsuit. I hope you weren't about to start treatment yourself. Oh, no, of course not. But I made the right call. You said so yourself. It's not your decision to make. That's my point, OK? I can't let you work unsupervised. If anything goes wrong, it's my backside that gets kicked. Look at this. Hmm? What? The sheer beauty of my posterior. I mean, you've got to admit, Katrina, as far as backsides go, this bad boy is one worth saving. I'm not asking you to put your brain on hold for the week. Just run it all by me first, OK? OK. Right on. Let's get back to it, then. I know her type of person. That's all I'm saying. She's the class smarty pants, so all grown up. I thought she was nice. <laughs> that's because she's your type of person, Kate. In the real world, that's who you'd be hanging out with. Not me in my quarter life crisis. <sighs> Jodie, she was being nice. You're just taking it the wrong way because you're feeling sorry for yourself. You know, I bet she knows how to crack a whip. She's probably done a course. And got in the top 5%. <sighs> So what time were you born? Why? Just go with me. I don't know, late. 11.30 at night, I think. OK, so you've still got half a day before you're officially 22. Half a day to achieve something on that list, like cracking a whip, maybe. Is there anything else for Jodie, uh, apart from the money? Like a letter or...? No, I'm the beneficiary's mother, so I don't see why you can't tell me that. Does that mean I can't collect the money for her either? I see. Well, yes, that's going to be a problem because she's overseas. In London. Can you at least change the mailing address so that any further correspondence comes by me? Hey, Mum! Well, yes, I'm going to have to talk to you later. Thanks, bye. So, was that the solicitor? Uh-huh. I'm going into town later, so I'll pick up Jack's money for you then. Excellent. You know, I miss Jack. He was a nice man. I was telling Kate about that party at Kalani, you know, with the horse and carriage. Well, I'm not ringing any bells. Mum, I was dressed up like a princess. Jack was the king. We found the crown he made up for the party, remember? Oh, yes, of course I remember the crown. But if I don't get this work done, there won't be time for me to go into town and you want the money, don't you? Well, it's a bit hard to go to Circus Paradise without it, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so, first year, eh? Mm-hmm. Any idea where you want to end up yet? Um, I've been thinking about research. Research? <laughs> well, you want to be stuck in a lab all day? You sound like you'd rather kill yourself. Yeah, by taking my pancreas out through my nostril with a crochet hook. <laughs> well, I did a placement with a biotech company in Melbourne. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, we were working with this guy, Mike Lewis. Mikey Lewis. Little Mikey Lewis. Oh. He's been boring my pants off since first year. He's a friend of yours. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we propped up the student bar for about five years. So, um, you still see him much? Oh, yeah, we keep in contact. He tells me what he's working on and I try not to die of boredom. Research can be pretty exciting. Ooh, yeah. No, no, if that's what floats your boat. But as a practicing rule of that, I consider it my professional duty to steer you away from the dark side. Well, you never know. This could just be the week that changes my life. Oh, Katrina. You've obviously heard the rumours. <laughs> Cattle. Stud horses. Mackenzie's have been at it for generations. Bloodlines to die for. Great. Something to get my teeth into. G'day, Coco. How are you, girl? Look at those eyes, huh? <laughs> Still knows everything that's going on. She's had your number from the second she got here, Bob. <laughs> Belonged to my grandkids in the city. And my oldest, he got transferred overseas, and the kiddies asked if I'd take her. <laughs> Most useless mongrel I've ever seen. <laughs> it's time, isn't it? I won't lie to you, mate. It'd be cool to let her go on any longer. Well, that's that, then. Once a time to say goodbye. So, how long are we going to wait? Bob knows where to find us. Do you charge by the hour? Well, it's not about the money. But you are running a business, though. So. You heard the way he talked about her. Bob's wife passed away about five years ago. That little dog's been his best mate ever since. Sorry. I suppose sometimes you feel like you're helping the people as much as their animals. Part vet, part social worker. Well, you make that sound like a bad thing. No, it's great. It's just the whole bedside manner thing. That's something you can learn from a textbook, is it? I guess it's something I need to work on. Yeah, it is. If you want to work in the real world, which you will. Where are you? You ready? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Dave just told me what a good mate Coco's been. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, love. and get the rest of the things for the party. Oh, OK. Did you get on to the lawyers? Yeah, I'll uh, swing by there before I pick up the cake. Yeah. I know it's a big ask, but I was just uh, wondering if maybe I could get an advance on my pay. Uh, yeah, 50 bucks, OK? 200 would be better. Wow. Must be some birthday cake. No, it's not just the party. I've had some bills come in. I'm sorry. I, I know it's a big ask. No, no. No, it's OK. There uh, should be 200 in the cash box. So. Go for it. <laughs> 